from the Daily Wire, it says a Virginia court ruled Monday that there is enough evidence to find that a teen accused of sexually assaulting a fellow student at Loudoun County High School bathroom in May engaged in non-consensual sex, i.e. it was a rape. The Daily Wire broke the story of the sexual assault in Loudoun County last month, uh, bringing to light two alleged rapes at two separate schools, one of which involves Scott Smith's daughter. Smith was later arrested at a Loudoun County school board meeting, so we know about that. The teen who appeared in court on Monday is standing trial on two separate cases. So we, ha- we finally have an official confirmation of that as well, because we heard about the second rape and it wasn't officially confirmed that it was by the same student, but now that's official as well. Um, one involving a student at Stonebridge High School and a different incident in a classroom at Broad Run High School, both in the Loudoun County School District. So there was a girl raped in a bathroom, and then that the rapist is sent to a different school where he then rapes a, stu- a, 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 a fellow student in a classroom this time. The teen who reportedly identifies as gender fluid is alleged to have assaulted Scott, Scott, Miss, Scott Smith's daughter in a girl's restroom at Stonebridge while wearing a skirt. Um, despite indications that he had committed a serious crime, the boy was, was then transferred. So this is, this is confirmation. The rape did occur. Um, we know that the cover-up happened too. We have absolute confirmation of that. We know that it happened because we have the Loudoun County School Board on record. We have the superintendent on record saying that they had no information of any assaults happening in bathrooms. When we know that they did, we know that they were told about it. So we know they lied. There was absolutely a cover up. No question about it. We don't have to say alleged. We don't have to say alleged about the rape either. Now, these are things that happened. So what's the media going to do? Um, They've tried ignoring this. They can't fully ignore it because we have we have forced them to acknowledge it. And so now they are retreating to what in any other circumstance they would call victim blaming. So here is Justin Juvenal who's a reporter, um, calls himself a justice reporter, ironically enough, for the Washington Post. And he he posted, he said, a teen testified she met a classmate for consensual sex in the girls' bathroom of a Loudoun County high school before, but in a May encounter, she was sexually assaulted. New details in the case at the center of a firestorm. Now, even that detail, that according to the Washington Post, this teen girl had a previous... Um, had previous sexual encounters, previous consensual sexual encounters with this boy. But in this case, it was not consensual. Now, adding in that detail, especially making it sort of a headline, uh, Justin here posted it on Twitter, making it kind of the headline. In any other circumstance, we, that would be called victim blaming. And for good reason, actually, because what, what, what difference does that make? What does that have to do with anything? Because, because in the past, she's, she'd had consensual encounters with this, you know, this what, 14-year-old girl? Had had consensual, 14 or 15 year old, years old? Had consensual encounters with this boy? That means, what, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything at all. The fact is, she did not consent in this case, and so that's rape. But there is, given what's at stake here, as far as the left and the media is concerned, you know, there's, there's, it, it's really two levels. First of all, this is about assaults in public school and a public school cover-up. Something that, as we've talked about on this show, is endemic in the public school system. There is a, there is a real sexual assault epidemic, a crisis in the school system, and there has been for decades. And before we ever injected any of the gender ideology aspects into any of these stories... The media had no interest in talking about it because it's the public school system. And if we're going to talk about um, epidemics of sexual assault, they much, you know, they're fine talking about it in Hollywood, even though Hollywood is left wing. They certainly would would uh, like talking about it in, in the Catholic Church, but not in the public school system. So already they're pre- predisposed to ignore these cases. And then you add in the fact that this kid is gender non-conforming. This happened in a bathroom at a time when the school board was pushing through a policy to open up the bathrooms for boys and girls to share together. You add in that and um, there is no level they won't, to which they will not stoop. To include victim blaming.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.